Hey explorers, it's me again. Today's app is a beginner's introduction to the two prominent stable pools on Solana, Mercurial and Sable Protocol. We look at their tokens a little bit, we look at tokenomics, the price swapping features as well. So what's a stable pool? A stable pool simply refers to uh, you providing your liquidity um, as stable assets for others to trade against. Um, stable assets are tokens that are backed one-to-one, -one, like the USDT being backed by one dollar uh, in the US. Also, that there's a very low probability of these two assets diverging in price and going separate ways, so they're always worth similar amounts of money. There are a few risks you should know about if you're going to be looking at doing this. Platform risks, smart contract risks, the depegging of the assets when they go separate directions. There's a few things you should really know if you're getting into this space. Alright, let's get to it. If you think this was helpful, you know what to do. Let's get to it. All right, guys, thanks very much for joining me, the Metaverse Explorer. So today, like I said, we'll be going to, going to look at some stable pools on Solana. The first thing we'll be looking at is Mercurial. So this is CoinGecko. We're going to be searching for them, which is a default place we can search for our tokens. Type in Mercurial here, and you can see it comes up as number 717 at the moment. So it's pretty low on the ranking when you consider everything in crypto. When we look at Mercurial, we can see that it's currently 50 cents uh, US. We can have a look at the circulating supply, 55 million tokens, and there is a total supply of 1 billion tokens. So it's a very small circulating supply compared to the total supply. The market cap at the moment is 28, according to the circulating supply, and our fully diluted market cap is half a billion dollars. We can go ahead and look at the price action at the moment, and it seems to have dropped off a bit, coming down uh, since 21st of May, and coming all the way down to today. So it seems to be on parallel with um, BTC. Either way, it's uh, had an all-time low of, um, it's down zero, minus 73% from its all-time high. Where can we get Mercurial if you want to buy it? There's a few places, Serum Dex at the moment on Solana, FTX is also Solana, you can get it on Radium, and you can get it on Orca Exchange. All good. A few socials, you can go Twitter over here, you can find their Telegram, and they have their Discord as well. But for now, let's go straight to the Mercurial site. Okay, this is Mercurial. As you can see, it's logged in for me already, wallet updated, and we can see my measly 1.05 soul here. There's a few interfaces that we're going to look at here and I'll kind of split it up so it's much easier to dissolve, much easier to ab absorb. First thing, we're going to have a look at the About page of Mercurial Finance. Let's go there. So what is Mercurial? Mercurial is a stable pool really. It's building a new liquidity system. And how do they do that? They use dynamic vaults. So what does that actually mean? They want to give you low slippage. Uh, the fees are very good and you can and it gives you composability so you can use these tokens that you get in these pools and go to other lending protocols to earn additional interest and yield okay sounds good i'm happy with that let's have a look at the mercurial token so they have a 20 percent seed which is a three-year linear vesting with one year lockup five percent private sale which is very attractive to me i don't want all those big whales to be getting the tokens early on they have a few liquidity incentives, they have ecosystem reserves, and the team gets 20% which after, after four years, which is pretty good with a one year lock. Let's have a look at the investors, which is what I really look at in a token. First thing I see, Alameda research, which makes me very bullish on the Mercurial platform. Alameda will not get into any other you know, crap tokens that they don't know of. That's it for now. There's a few other information here you can read, but let's go back to the platform. Okay. So, what can you do? You can transfer, you can swap your USDC or stable pool items to other tokens in the ecosystem, in Solana ecosystem. At the moment, they've actually included some different um, routing. So you can swap stable coins up to other um, tokens that you can use on the Solana ecosystem. Let's do something simple. Let's say I have USDC. As you can see, I have 19.99, so $20 of USDC, and I want to receive some USDT. So stable, stable coin to stable coin. Very good. Now, they provide two separate pools, USDT3 pool and the Pi3 pool. If I want to swap one USDC to one USDT, 
you can see it's come up here. What route are we going to use? USDC, USDT, which is in this three pool, okay? There are three assets in here, USDC from Circle, USDT from Tether, and wrapped UST from the Luna ecosystem. There is currently $118 million in this stable pool. And as you can see, I own 0.00 share, nothing. I want to pay $1 to USDC and I want to receive one USDT, no problem. This uh, refreshes every 20 or so seconds. This is your slippage, so if you have a very low volume, this should be okay. If you have a very high volume, you might need to increase your slippage, which just means you need more room for your funds to wiggle to get into the pool. Either way, these are the swap rates for one to ones, as you can see it's refreshing now. And because this is $1 out of $118 million, how much am I going to affect the pool? 0.0000, nothing at all. So for every $1, I will receive 0.99893 USDT. Now it's only a little bit less because the concentrations in this pool aren't exactly equal. Some are a bit higher than others. Mercurial will charge me a 0.003 cent fee. All right, let's go ahead and do a swap. I'm going to confirm. Confirming. This takes a very small amount of time and it's swap completed. Very good. If we want, we can view this transaction on the blockchain, but that's it. Let's have a look at the pool that we just used and look. So this is the mercurial pool. There is 42% of USDC, 33 of USDT, and 24% of wrapped USD, USDT, which is from the Terra ecosystem. We'll look at the APY. The APY is the rewards that mercurial will be giving you so because you're using because if you provide liquidity of your tokens into this pool mercurial will be awarding you 21 20.91 20 percent um, in rewards for mercurial and they're also going to give you 4.22 percent from luna and this is from the terra luna ecosystem and there's a few yield strategies you can use with these rewards which we'll talk about a bit later so what I want to do is I want to be a part of this pool. I want to be a part of this $119 million. What do we do? We have to deposit some of our own tokens into this pool. So as you can see, there's 42% of USDC and these ones here. So I have, I want to deposit $2 of USDC into this pool. Okay. What will that do? That adds my two dollars to this 180 million and allows other people to trade within this pool the same as we just demonstrated before okay you can put only one token if you want you can put all three tokens in an equal amount if you put a single token what this does is it has to split your two tokens your two um, usdc into the other tokens at an equal distribution and then put it into this pool okay Let's go ahead and deposit that. We will get 1.99 um, of the pool, which is a little shy of R2 because this is not equal. Maximum slippage is okay. And let's go ahead and deposit. Confirm deposit. Approve. Done. Very good. Now, our current share of the pool is $2 that we just deposited. Because of this, we're going to be receiving 25% APY, 20% in Mercurial and 4.22% in Ren Luna. Let's go ahead and claim our rewards after a couple of days. We'll go to the claim. This is the rewards page where it shows you your profile. I've been using Mercurial for a while and I have 111 rewards so far, which is just a cruise every day. You can have a look at their Discord, have a look at their Twitter. They have a few NFTs that they're giving out to people. So this is the first one for people who are interested in Luna. And now they're doing a Parrot NFT for the Parrot Fi. This is the rewards. They have a good track of always delivering the rewards every day. So today, I'm, it's been, let's say, one day from 26th to 27th of August. I've earned one Mercurial. I've earned 0 0.89 Mercurial in another pool. And I've earned 0 0.003 Luna. Let's go ahead and claim all these. Claimed. How fast was that? Now, we just claimed 1.96 Mercurial. Where can you actually use this? 
you can claim it. You can use it at Port Finance, you can lend it or borrow against it. You can use Acumen as well, where you can lend it or borrow against it. And there's a few other yield strategies you can do. All right. Okay, that's it for Mercurial. Let's have a look at Sabre now. Remember, they're both in very heavy competition with each other. One has slightly more TVL, but one has a more established brands and has better partners. Okay, let's see. Once again, just type in Sabre, which is how you spell it, and you see it's 729 at the moment. So it's about the same ranking as you would with Mercurial. Having a look at Sabre, it's currently 26 US dollars, 26 cents, and it's uh, currently increased by 31% today. Our circulating supply is 99 million, and the total supply at the moment is, is 100 million, but the max supply is 10 billion, which is very significant. So there's only 100 million in circulation, but the total supply of the entire coin is 10 billion, which is quite a lot. Our market cap right now is 26 million, and our fully diluted market cap is 2.6 billion. Okay. So going down, let's have a look at some price action. We can see here that it's it's been performing very well. You can see here that it's got started at 0.1 cents and only a couple of months later, it's now 0.25 cents. So congratulations if you caught this and you've been able to ride this wave all the way at the top. Now, is this the correct time to buy it? Not so sure. Have a look at the protocol yourself and see if you think it's worth it. Since it's all time low, it's gained 11,000%, which is very, very good if you bought it at the lowest price, which would have been around here, around here, 0 0.002. Okay, going back up, we can see here, you can get to their GitHub, you can get to their Twitter, you can go to their Discord. Let's go to their website and find out some more about them. So this is Sabre. Sabre is the same, is uh, providing the same service as Mercurial. They are a liquidity network. They're trying to go cross-chain, which is their differentiating factor. They do stable pools as well. So all these pools you're seeing are the same asset, but in a different form. So wrapped UST from Terra and USDC from Circle. Stablecoin DAI to Stablecoin USDC. Wrapped Binance USD to USDC. As you can see, they are all the same assets in different forms. Stablecoin Pi to Stablecoin USDC. Let's have a look at some of their investors. I do not see Alameda Research, but I do see a few of the prominent names within Solana. Solana Foundation, Jump Capital, Multicoin Capital, CMS. All very reputable names. So what do they want to give you at um, Sabre Protocol. For traders, you can trade stable pairs very instantly with low slippage and minimal fees. Same thing as Mercurial. You can earn yield from your transactions, fees, liquidity incentives, and more. So you can give your own coins to them and they can do it. And they're trying to give you different wallets as well that you can use. Let's go ahead and read more about them before we use them. Let's go to their blog. So they recently added support for Soulflare Wallet. Let's keep going down. I want to find out about their token. Mm, there's a few. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at their token distribution. 31% to mining reserves, 25 partnerships, 20% to team, 15 to strategic, and liquidity is 8%. So these tokenomics are a bit different to Mercurial. The, the team gets 20%, partnerships get 20%, strategic fundraising and private sale is 15%. So Mercurial, I think it was 5%. So it's fair to say that the um, Sabre team is selling more of their tokens to big institutions. Okay, that's it for now. You can feel free to browse their medium so you can have a look at their tokens some more. Let's go ahead and launch the app and see what it looks like. Okay, let's zoom in here so you can see. As you can see, it's logged me in already. I love Solana. I have 260 Sabre tokens at the moment, which is very small. We'll have a swap, some pools, some farming, and some more information if you need it. You can see the few different social media applications here. In Sabre, Let's say we want to swap some stable coins. They provide a host of different coins that you can swap, mostly stable assets, a few non-stable assets like Serum, 
FTT, BTC, Luna, Solana. But for now, I want to swap one USDC to one USDT. I want to swap one dollar. And I'm going to receive 0.999416, which is not bad. Let's have a look at the exchange rate, which is one USDC is 0.994. Which, so where does the other little bit six go? That goes to the fees and the protocol itself. This is the slippage. Once again, this is a very small amount. So the slippage you can go is very small. If you have a couple of hundred million dollars, then I would recommend higher slippage. Okay, let's review this change that I'm, this uh, exchange that I'm going to do. I'm going to be estimated to receive 0.994. I'm putting in one USDC, I'm getting out a minimum of 0.944 USDC. That's the minimum I will be receiving. What's the fee they're going to charge me? They're going to charge me 0.0004 USDC. So, no, a hundredth of a cent. Let's confirm the swap and you'll see how fast it is on Solana. Let's approve this. Three, two, oh, not even one. We've swapped one USDC for one USDT. Awesome. So that's that, that's swapping swapping some, some assets against each other. What if I want to be a part of that pool and provide the facility for other people to swap their assets? Let's go to the pool section. As you can see, they have $704 million under TVL, total value locked, which is about uh, four times as large as Mercurial. Why is that? They provide a whole lot of other pools for you to swap against, as you can see here. There's heaps and heaps of them, and each pool has its own value locked, own value locked. So for now, let's add let's add something to a pool. This is the let's go with the USDC and Binance um, stablecoin. It's a wrapped version, so it's not the native Binance stablecoin. It's the Solana wrapped stablecoin. There's currently twenty six million dollars in there at the moment. Let's deposit something. Okay. In the same way as the other Mercurial pool works, you can deposit one token or you can deposit two, which is very good. I only have USDC at the moment. I have no wrapped BUSD. I'm going to put $2 into this pool. What it'll do, it'll swap my $2 and go through this and give me the same amount of BUSD and add it to the pool. We can have a look at the pool itself. That's 52% of USDC and 47% of wrapped USD of wrapped BUSD. So that tells me there's more people adding to this pool as USDC than wrapped BUSD. What's the swap fee? 0.04. Withdrawal fee? Nothing. And this is a few of my other transactions you can see. So let's go ahead and add to this pool. $2 USDC and deposit it into the wrapped BUSD USDC stablecoin pool. Let's confirm again. I'm depositing zero US BUSD to USDC. My pool share is $2, which is less than 0.001. What fees? About 0.003 cents, which is very, very small. Confirm, three, oh, three, two, done. Let's say, okay, very good. So now that we have a part of this stable coin pool, we have a receipt that says, hey, I'm providing liquidity for the wrapped BUSD and USDC stablecoin pool. I have this receipt. Stab Sabre wants to use your receipt so that you can receive Sabre tokens, the things we looked at before. Let's click on here so you can farm some Sabre. So we'll have a look at the liquidity mining incentives. So this is to show your commitment to the Sabre protocol. Currently, there is 26, 000, uh, 26 million um, it staked in this pool, and your the pool itself is receiving 53,000 Sabre a day. So if you own all of this in the pool, you would be receiving 53,000 Sabre a day. Now remember, I only own $2 in this pool, so this will, I will be receiving a very small amount. Okay, my liquidity stake in here, barely anything. Unclaimed Sabre, barely anything. But we'll look here, my balance of the receipts that I have is 1.9953, which is the $2 that we just put in. So let's go ahead and click on that. It's going to deposit that for us, which is around $2. And we're going to deposit three, two, one. Good. 
So where our current liquidity stake is 1.995, which is now part of here. And we're currently earning 0.004013 Sabre a day. In the next two days, you can come back and claim you can see it's already ticked up to one at the moment. So all you have to do is click here. When it goes to two, we might claim again. Mm, too long. Okay. Claim this and we've claimed. Very good. So what can you do with Sabre? The same thing, you can sell it on the market if you want and buy more stable coin stable coins to provide more liquidity. You can keep this Sabre if you think it will outperform itself. Or you can lend it in other protocols that are coming at the moment. And that's it guys. Remember to manage your risk appropriately. Stable pools are on the safer side of crypto um, compared to uh, yield farming or leverage, or hell, even leveraged yield farming. Mm. This up here is my public address so you can see what I'm up to all the time. I'm just waiting for Star Atlas to be launched so we can watch videos, play the games, look at the mechanics, and just talk about the whole ecosystem of Star Atlas. Thanks for watching again. Till the next episode in two days. See you later.